Can you hand me it? Ryan. Nice mm -hmm. second. Good morning, guys. Morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Yusuf Awad. Good morning. Nobody answers. Morning, guys. Good morning. Morning. Okay, Hassan. I have Ganaguda, Hassan Ruhayim, Maryam, Maryam Naqib, uh, Usama, Ryan, Tadrus, Yasmin, Said, Yasin, Said, Yusuf, Ali, Walid, and Yasmin, Said. How are you all? Okay. Uh, the week before the Easter holiday, we did chapter grammar chapter 25. Uh, we did part one. If you remember, can anybody remind me of uh, 25 one? 25 dot one. Can anybody remind me? Do you remember the topic we studied in chapter 25, part one? Any answer? Uh, it was about negative sentences and understatement, if you remember. And in chapter 25, part two, we are going to study some common usage problems. Uh, can you all please put your hand up if you uh, can hear me well? Hello? Thank you, Hassan. Thank you, Tadros. Yusuf? Okay, Yasin? Mariam, Ruhayim, uh, Ryan, what about the others? Hmm? Alia, can you hear me? Gianna Gouda, Yasmin, Sa'a. Okay, uh, we have some common usage problems, some things in uh, English which confuse us. Here, number one, we have about 60 mistakes or 60 problems. We're going to do them over these two sessions. Number one, a and n. The article a is used before consonant sounds. As you know, n is used before vowel sounds, sounds, not letters. Words beginning with h o when the h is silent or o or you may have either a vowel sound or a consonant sound, as we will see. Here, rainforests are a universal concern. You would ask me, here we have the letter U. The letter U is a vowel letter. Ah, but remember, it is not a vowel sound. The letter U is a vowel sound when it is pronounced ah, like umbrella. We say an umbrella, but when the letter U is pronounced you like unit, uniform, unity, university. This is not a vowel sound, but it is still a vowel letter. So we use a, not an here. They have become an issue. Here we have an before we have the letter i and the, the, the vowel sound i, issue. Okay. The reinforced is a habitat. Here we have the letter h and the sound ha, which is not a vowel sound. 
We need an honest. Here we have the silent H, and the first sound we pronounced is O. Oh. So we say an honest. You know why we have an, guys? Because it makes pronunciation smoother. For example, if I say a honest, see how difficult it is? A honest? No, it's an honest. An honest. An honest. Like to welcome Lyon. Okay, so let's move to number two. Welcome, Lian. Good morning, Lian. Can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Good morning. Number two is accept and accept. Accept and accept. You know, accept is a verb when you accept something, when you accept an idea, an opinion. Accept is a verb. It means to receive. Accept, you know, is a preposition, it's not a verb, means leaving out or other than. All the students are here, except Ali or except Mona, and so on. We have two examples showing the meaning. We must accept responsibility for preserving the rainforest. As a preposition, the word except, if we don't, nothing will be left except scrub. Number three, the difference between adapt and adopt because some people confuse them. Adapt is a verb, it means to change. You know, some animals adapt uh, to the nature around them, but adopt means to take as one's own. I adopt a son, I adopt a daughter, I adopt a child, I adopt an idea, I adopt an opinion, and so on. Companies must adapt to conform to environmental regulations. Adapt to. Remember, adapt is most of the time followed by the preposition to, if you are confused. More and more companies are adopting, are adopting policies geared toward preservation. Number four, the difference between effect and effect. A with A spelled with A is a verb. An effect spelled with E is the noun. Effect is almost always a verb meaning to influence. Effect is usually a noun meaning result. Occasionally, effect, this is another meaning for the word effect, is a verb meaning to bring about or to cause something. Uh, let's look at the examples. It is not clear how much the destruction of the rainforests affects the world's climate. So effect here is a verb. And remember, effect is not followed by the preposition on. Affect, the verb, is not followed by the preposition on. Bordadi. Bordadi, you're a little bit late, dear. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, the, as a noun, one effect may be global warming. Effect sometimes is followed by the preposition on. Your words left a strong effect on me. Effect on. As a verb, remember this, remember this, effect can be used as a verb to mean cause. Concern over this situation has affected some change, has caused some change. Uh, no problem, Abdurrahman, no problem. Uh, number, number five, aggravate, and be careful here. Aggravate means to make things worse. Avoid using this word to mean annoy. Annoy means to bother someone or to bug someone. Some people, by mistake, use the verb aggravate to mean annoy. No, aggravate means make things worse. Remember this. Some people are aggravated. This is the wrong usage. By disregard for the environment. Less acceptable. This meaning is less acceptable. It's not standard English. Uh, preferred usage, continued deforestation, cutting down the trees, will aggravate, aggravate means make worse, aggravate climatic changes. It will make climatic changes worse. Number six, ain't, you hear it very often when you watch movies, ain't originally a contraction of am not or is not. It's a, a, sorry, I'm not. It is considered, it is not considered acceptable standard English. Don't use it when you write an essay. Avoid using it in all writing and speaking. It is not standard English. Ain't is not standard English. 
you can have a sentence in the exam uh, containing the word ain't and you're asked to uh, fix the mistake. So you should write it like this, I'm not. For example, I ain't playing football now. Correct the mistake, but you should underline the word ain't, delete it and replace it with am not. Number seven, all ready and already. All ready spelled as two words and already as one word. All ready is an expression meaning ready. I am all ready. This means I'm ready. The expression functions as an adjective, but already is an adverb meaning by or before this time. I have already fed the chickens. I have already done my homework, okay? Uh, as an adjective, are people already, are people ready, Annie, uh, to help preserve the rainforest? But here, already is an adjective, it means ready. Uh, as an adverb, much destruction has already been done. Much destruction has already been done. Already is an adverb, means even now or before this time. Number eight, all right as two words and all right as one word. Are they both correct? No. One is standard and the other one is non-standard English or spelling. So all right. Uh, the uh, uh, one word spelling is a non-standard English. So don't use this word as one word. Always use the two word form in your writing. Uh, Morning, Yahya. Yahya? Yeah, You're about 17 minutes late, Yahya. Please be on time. Thank you. Mr. Katatelak, I'll let the messenger on net can auto anti. No problem. I'm not looking at the messenger now. No problem, yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, yeah, we were doing these uh, uh, usage problems. We have some confusing words. We are doing number eight now. This is chapter 25. All right and all right as two words and as one word. The one word form is non standard English. Don't use it, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you have the examples here. Number nine, all together, two word form and all together, one word form. These two adverbs have different meanings. So these words, both words are standard English, okay? But they have two different meanings. All together means all at once, but all together means completely or in all. Like this example, the monkeys sat in the trees all together. And all of them at once sat in the trees. Uh, uh, a rainforest is not altogether, is not completely the same as a jungle. So the one word form, it means completely, completely. The two word form all together means all at once, all at once. Number 10, and it's easy and you know it, uh, among and between, among and between. Among and between are both prepositions. Among always implies three or more, three or more. Between implies two only, two items, two people, two groups. Uh, look at the examples. Orchids, the flowers, the famous flowers, you know, may be found among the many different plants of the rainforest. We have many different plants, more than three or more. This is why we're using among here. Uh, vines, you know the vines. Uh, called lianas are found in the layers between the upper canopy and the forest floor. Between, because we have the upper canopy and the forest floor. We have two items only. Here, uh, we have an exercise. Choose the, or let's uh, skip it now. We may do it as homework. Let's move to 11. Anxious. Pay attention, guys. Anxious means very, very, very worried or uneasy, feeling uneasy or fearful. Do not use it as a substitute for eager. Eager. When you are eager to do something, you want it very much. You're looking forward to it. Again, guys, anxious means very worried. Use it in this meaning only. Don't use anxious to mean eager. Uh, environmentalists are anxious for change. Here, anxious is ambiguous. It's not clear because it means 
eager. No, don't use it in this meaning. Again, you can have a question like this in the exam, a sentence like this, and you're asked to correct the mistake. You would look at the sentence and there is no mistake. No, there is a mistake which we studied. Anxious here means eager. Don't, when you are eager to do something, you want it very much. Anxious means worried, not eager. So how can we correct it? Environmentalists are anxious about, are worried about. Yes, this is the correct usage. The results of deforestation and eager for change. They are eager for change, but they are worried about the results of deforestation. Number 12, anyone as one uh, 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 word form, anyone as two word form, everyone, one word, two words, and so on. Anyone and everyone, the one word spelling mean any person. I want anyone to tell me tada. So I want any person and every person, respectively. So anyone means any person. Everyone means every person. What about the two word spelling or form? Anyone means the two word form, any single person or thing. And everyone means every single person or thing. Okay, anyone, as one word, anyone means any person, may take an interest in preservation. Anyone, two word form, this means any single person of the rainforest plants could uh, uh, provide a life-saving drug. And same here with everyone and everyone. Number 13, anywhere, Anyway, anywhere, everywhere, nowhere, somewhere. Uh, 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 if you notice that these five words have the word where, these adverbs, and all of them are adverbs, of course, should never end in S. Some people, I don't think we do this mistake or make this mistake. Some people add an S to the end of these words by mistake. Never end any of these words with an S. Look here at this example. There are unknown species somewhere in the rainforest. So this is wrong. Somewhere is not standard English. All these five words shouldn't be followed by an S. Uh, number 14 as, as, do not use the conjunction as to mean because. We do this very often in spoken English. Do not use the conjunction as to mean because. There are few plants on the first floor. Why? As there is very little sunlight. As here means because. Don't use it this way. Use because instead. Like the example here. Number 15. As to. As to is awkward. Awkward means non-standard. It's a weak word. Replace it with about. Again, as to. Like the example here, there is some doubt as to, as to whether, about whether. No, use about instead. Don't use as to because it's awkward. It's a weak word. It's non-standard. Number 16, at, as a preposition, do not use at after where. Simply eliminate it, delete it. This is very important, guys. Where in the world are rainforests at? We don't use at here or don't need at here, as you notice. Where in the world are rainforests? Number 17, at about, at about. Avoid using at about completely. Don't use it, avoid using it. Use at only or around or near. Many rainforests are found at about the equator. It should be near the equator or around the equator. Or, or at the equator. Many rainforests are uh, found near the equator. Okay, number 18, we have awful and awfully. You know, awful means uh, extremely bad. Awful is used informally. This is informal usage to mean extremely bad, awful. The food is awful, the weather is awful today, and so on. Awfully is used informally to mean very, I'm awfully sorry. Okay, better writers 
replace both with more descriptive words. So avoid using awful and awfully. They are uh, widely used in spoken English, but in written English, in standard English, try to avoid both of them in this meaning. Look at the examples. The heat is awful. Awful here means very bad. No, use another uh, uh, descriptive word. You want to say the heat is uh, debilitating, which means very hot. Informal, another example, it can get awfully hot. Awfully here means very. No, don't use it in this way. Use extremely or very instead. Uh, here we use, uh, there may be awful viruses. Awful viruses as yet undiscovered in the rain first. Awful here means uh, 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 causing fear, fearful. The meaning of awful is fearful. This is the original meaning. A while and a while. And this is important. Again, pay attention, guys. Uh, some people uh, did this in the exam before, did exercises on this in the exam before, and they made many mistakes because they weren't paying attention. A while as one word means one word. A while as one word for a while. So before this word, before the one word for, we don't need for because it itself, it itself means for a while. But a while, a while, the first word is an adverb, which in itself means for a while. A while, two words, is an ad article and a noun, an article, the a, and the noun, while, uh, uh, usually used after the preposition for. So if you have the word a while, never use for because itself, uh, itself uh, contains uh, for in its meaning. Vines live off trees a while. A while here means for a while. As a noun, we need for when we have the two words spelling. I hope you understand, guys. Number 20, beat and win. Beat means to overcome an opponent. Win means to achieve victory in something. Uh, a successful plant has won the others. Don't say uh, Abdurrahman won uh, Yasin. No, Abdurrahman beat Yasin. You know the conjugation of beat, 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 beaten. Beat, beat, beaten. We say Abdurrahman beat Yasin, not Abdurrahman won Yasin. But after win, what do we uh, uh, use? We use the thing you uh, uh, win. Uh, win a match, win a medal, win uh, a competition, and so on. But we defeat or beat someone. OK, this is number 20. Let's move to 21. Because Ali Gizi, Ali. Morning, Ali. Alwa. Yeah, Alwa. Alwa, most of the time you join late. Be careful, please. Right, number 21, because, do not use because after the reason. When you have the reason, for example, the reason I went to school or I joined the session late was because, no. Once you said the reason, don't use the uh, 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 word because. You can say what well, that. Uh, one reason to preserve the environment is because. So again, guys, don't use the word reason and because in one sentence. This is non-standard. How can we correct it? We try to preserve the environment, the environment because it will benefit humans. We rephrase the sentence. Okay? But again, never use the word reason with the word because in one sentence. Because, because gives the reason. So this is considered redundancy, you know, redundancy. Number 22, being that and, and being as. Avoid using either expression. Avoid using both of them. Use because instead. Being as and being that are non-standard English. Use because instead. Being as or that. The ecosystem is so fragile, competition among plants and animals is fierce. Right. Uh, again, we should delete or eliminate 
these two words and replace them with because. So again, 22, avoid using both being as or being that and use because instead. It's clear. Number 23, beside and besides. Beside and besides. Beside means at the side of. Ali is sitting beside me. Ali is sitting beside me. So he is sitting at the side of me. Or close to, close to me, or near me. Besides, with S means in addition to. There are other kinds of rain firsts besides, in addition to the equatorial kind. Number 24, bring and take. Bring means to carry from a distance or a distant place to a nearer one. When I call Jana, for example, we don't have any of the or either of the Janas today. They are absent. Uh, uh, I ask her to bring the uh, grammar book to school tomorrow. So I ask her to carry it from home to school. Take means the opposite. Take means the opposite. To carry from a near place to a more distant place. When I tell Jana to take the grammar book home, this means she will take it from school to home. The time we are at school, from a near place to a more distant place. Number 25, can and may. Can means has the ability to. Ali can lift the heavy table. Ali can lift the heavy table. This means he has the ability to do this. May means has permission to or possible or likely to. You may go home, I may do something. There may be a solution or uh, there is a possibility or it is likely uh, uh, that pleases everyone. There may be a possibility. Number 26, uh, clipped words. Clipped words. What's meant by clipped words? Like telephone, we make it phone. Like gymnasium, we make it gym. Like photograph, we make it photo, and so on. These are clipped, cut words. Avoid using clipped or shortened words in standard English. When you write an essay, don't say, I, I go to the gym. You are the word gymnasium. Don't say, I have a phone. You say, I have a telephone, and so on, or photo. Use the word photograph. Use the complete, not the clipped words. Uh, there are no phones. You can have a question, a sentence like this in the exam and ask to find the mistake. You read the sentence, there are no phones deep in the rainforest. It's correct. There is nothing wrong about it. No, remember, phones is not standard English. Clipped words are not standard English. When we are doing an exam, when you are writing an essay, use the complete word, telephone, photograph, gymnasium, and other complete words. Number 27, different from and different than. Don't use different than in standard English. My pen is different from your pen. Don't use some people in spoken English, use different than. Uh, so the rainforest of the Amazon basin is different than that of the Northwestern United States. No, don't use then, use from. You can correct different than by using different from. Remember this, guys, it's very easy. If you're following up now and paying attention, you don't need to study it again. Ah, uh, number 28. 28. Doesn't, doesn't, and don't. Don't use don't with third person. I think nobody does this. Uh, I can't say my, my friend Ali uh, don't. Ali doesn't, he, she, it doesn't, okay? A rainforest don't have a dry season. Of course, this is a mistake because a rainforest is it and it doesn't. Number 29, <coughs> sorry, done. The past principle of the verb do, do, did, done is the past principle of do. It should be always followed or, or preceded, sorry, by a helping verb. Done should be uh, preceded by a helping verb. 
we done, this is not English. This is not standard English. We have done. The homework was done. But I can say I done my homework or the homework uh, was, or, or without was, the homework done. This is not standard English. And I think nobody makes this mistake. Number 30, the last expression we have in the first session, uh, due to, due to. Due to means caused by, caused by, and should be used only when the words caused by can logically be substituted. And if you want to use due to, try to replace it with caused by. If it gives the same meaning, so it's correct. If it doesn't give the same meaning, so don't use it. Few plants live on the first floor due to lack of sunlight. This is non-standard because due to here means because of. No, it doesn't mean because of. It means caused by, caused by the scarcity, the small number of plants on the first floor is due to, which means caused by lack of sunlight, lack of sunlight. Uh, this is, we have done 30 mistakes or common uh, usages. So far, we still have, I think, 30. We're going to do them in the next session in three or four minutes. Thank you very much.